I came across a very interesting piece of data recently which said that 60% of Indians believe that their work-life balance is either average or terrible. And this is something that Monster India has been talking about, that why is it that people feel this way? Some of the simple things that people mentioned was that uh, they wanted to go home on time and they wanted to do so without any guilt. And men and women are no different when it comes to wanting some kind of a segregation. So what is in it for the employer when it comes to work-life balance? Is it something that is only meant to be putting you in the great employer category if you provide work-life balance? Actually, no. As the nature of work is changing, a very important piece of difference that an employee can make is in terms of its innovation. So in order to be innovative, you have to provide for space, space to be creative, space to think of new ideas, space to talk to different colleagues and jam along different lines, have a cross-functional view, talk to people in different departments. That's how innovation happens. So actually letting people to have a little bit of slack, not a whole lot, a little bit of slack is probably a great way to build an innovation culture. So work-life balance is not just good for the employees, it's of course really good for your innovation culture as well. Good luck with that.